Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Liz. I'm here at school. I'm almost by myself. My daughter Tiernan is here filming me at a little morning meeting segment. And the reason I came down to do this segment today is it's an important day. It is the first day of spring. I usually think the first day of spring is the 21st or the 22nd, but the equinox is early this year, and so today is the official first day of spring. There are flowers poking up on our playground. I'm so sorry we're not all here to enjoy them together, but I wanted to send you this video, and I thought we'd do a little calendar, a little green rice, and I'm going to read you a story. So settle in and know that I'm actually going to ask a couple of questions. I'll leave some space and for once you can shout out the answers at home. Okay, so no need, you don't have to raise your hand when you're doing a video morning meeting. So here we go with the calendar. Got my calendar right here. Hmm, it looks a lot like when we left last Friday. It is still the third month of the year. The month starts with M. What month is it? I see it's an M A R C H. So it's the month of March. It's the third month of the year. Well, Miss Liz added a couple of numbers before we started, and this is the day today. So we have to go up and look. Hmm, what day of the week is it? Maybe we could sing one of our songs. Hmm, should I do? Yeah, let's do the Adams Family one. So get ready to clap, pat your legs, or whatever you want to do. Ready? Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week. So did you notice when we got here, what day of the week were we saying? It starts with a T and not a T-U, but a T-H, which makes the th sound. Th Thursday, that's the day of the week. Today is Thursday. Now we need to know the number. Hmm. So the number yesterday was 18. A one eight makes 18. But I'm not sure what the next one is. I think maybe we better count together to figure it out. So will you count with me? Let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. You're right. Good job, boys and girls. Hmm. But now my question is, what does 19 look like? Well, funny that should drop because I need this board. What does 19 look like? So I need the one first, which I believe you all know is a straight line down to make my one. But 19, what's the other number in 19? One, do you know? It is, it's a nine. I need a nine to make a 19. So to draw a 19, a nine, excuse me, I start at the top, I'm gonna do a big circle round and a straight line down. This gives me 19, it looks like one, nine. Hmm. Now you know. So here's my box of numbers. Hmm. I need one with a one in it and a nine. <gasps> this one has a one. Did I find 19? No? Oh no, I don't need this for a couple of days. Do you know what number this is? You're right. It's 21, but I just was confused because it had a one. I'll put it back. Hmm, this has a one and I think it has a circle. Is this 19? Oh, thank goodness. Hey, I got it on my second try, boys and girls. Sometimes it takes me three or four tries. I'm gonna take the 19, I'm gonna put it underneath Thursday, and now we have our date. Today is Thursday, 
March 19th, 2020. But did anybody notice anything different on our calendar? Hmm, let's look at the top. We've got 2020. It's still the same year. We're only three months in. It's still March. Wait a minute. This is a new word. This word wasn't here last week. Hmm, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it says S P R I N G. It used to start with a W. It used to be winter, but now it says something else. Do you know what this word says? It's the new season. It says spring, because today is the first day of spring. All right, well, that does it for our calendar. Now we're going to move on to the green rice. Hi, boys and girls. We're gonna dig into the green rice, but today it will be me doing the digging and the hiding. So I'm not gonna be surprised, but you might be. So, hmm, what did I hide in the rice today? Do you think it's candy? Do you think Miss Liz hid Skittles and Snickers bars? No, she didn't, you know she didn't, but I just thought it, it would have been really funny if I had hidden some Starburst or something in there, but I did not. So I'm gonna dig in and let's see what is something, I'm gonna find one thing. I found something. Hmm, what is it? It's a, goodness, well, it has something on it. I'm gonna keep it right there. Hmm, and I said, I, found, I hid seven things total, kids. Oh boy, here's number two. Hmm. The alligator mouth. I'm going back in for number three. Here's the third thing I found. I'm sensing a theme. I see different colors and I see different letters. Ooh, uh-oh, I found, I've got a twofer. I found two at once. Okay, this one. It's a nice blue color. I'm gonna put this one over here. I wonder why Miss Liz is choosing to put her clothespins in certain spots. Here is number five. I'm gonna leave a space here. Hmm, just a couple more things. Ooh, I really gotta, oh, there's one. That's a good one. It's a nice bright reddish color. Hmm. Let me see, did I get them all? One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, I hid seven, so I'm missing one. Oh, there it is. This is one of Miss Liz's favorite letters. Liz is short for Elizabeth. And here we go. This is what I found in the rice today. Letters, whoa. And they're different colors, aren't they, boys and girls? So if I do my colors, I've got red, orange, yellow, green, hmm, turquoise, another shade of blue. What should we call this, Tiernan? Teal. Teal, like our carpet, and then lighter green for the G. So it seems a little rainbowish. I wonder if the next color is purple. And what do you know? The next letter after G is H, and it is indeed purple. So they were really going with a rainbow theme. So now I have eight letters, and it just so happens it's the beginning of the alphabet. So I hope you'll sing along with me. I'm just going to do the beginning because that's what I have. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. And I'm going to stop there. You can spend some time thinking about when you're playing with letters at home, you can spend some time thinking about, hmm, name the letter. Hmm, do I know a word that starts with that letter? So I'm gonna go for it. Hmm, A could be for apple or ape. B could be for bird or bunny. C could be for cat or candy. D could be for dog or daffodil. E could be for eagle or egg. F, hmm, F could be for fish or friend. 
G. G could be for garage or go. And lastly, H, even though that was an add-on, H could be for horse or house. I hope you're spending some time playing with letters and numbers, boys and girls. It's very important for us to learn these during our preschool years. All right, so that's it for our study of the rice. Last but not least, I'm going to read you some stories. Two stories, neither is very long, and they both are about the topic of spring. So the first book is called Rabbits and Raindrops. It's by Jim Arnosky. Mother Rabbit sits by her nest under a hedge at the edge of a green lawn. Her five babies are ready to climb out of the nest for the first time. Mother Rabbit hops out into the bright sunlight onto the green grass. Do you notice the other creatures that are out and about? I see a butterfly and I see some beautiful burn, birds. They look like barn swallows. And I could, this could be a barn in the distance. One after another, the five baby rabbits hop out onto the lawn. If you're spending outside, time outside, you might be seeing some baby bunnies. I saw one in my backyard last week. They nibble clover blossoms and leaves. They meet grasshoppers, spiders, and bees. All of a sudden, the sky turns dark and big, heavy raindrops begin to fall. What would you do if you were outside and it started to rain? A rabbit's fur is not waterproof. Baby rabbits can become soaked and catch cold. So Mother Rabbit hurries her babies back under the hedge. From their dry shelter, five baby rabbits watch the rain pouring down. Let's count them to make sure they're all there. One, two, three, four, five. I'm glad they're all safe. A butterfly flutters in under the hedge and rests on a dry leaf. Soon others come inside out of the rain. Hmm, I see a grasshopper, a hummingbird, and that same butterfly. Out in the shower, honeybees buzz by, flying between raindrops to stay dry. Suddenly, the shower ends, and the last few raindrops splatter down. Who do you see passing by the bunnies? Yes, it's a very large turtle. He's bigger than the baby bunnies, anyway. All together, the rabbits hop out onto the lawn. That was a quick storm. Now the sun is shining again. To taste the wet grass and play rabbit tag in the sun. It was such a quick storm. What has happened in the background, boys and girls? A rainbow. And that is the end. There's a beautiful picture of a clover flower. Bunnies love to eat clover. Boys and girls, I hope you are finding some time to spend out in nature. I went on a walk with Josie yesterday and we stopped by a stream and we tried skipping rocks Josie is learning. Um, Miss Liz, of course, knows how to do it. Just kidding. <laughs> but I, we did try to skip rocks and we had lots of fun together. So I hope that you are out enjoying the nature. I know some, I had one mom tell me she was going to make a mud kitchen for her preschooler. And I think that sounds like a great idea. I hope you all get out in the backyard. Um, and that you are having a good time at home with your family. And I just know that Miss Pete and I miss you very much. And we hope we can be together again soon. Take care, boys and girls.